I recently did a video on Microsoft Copilot, which is powered by OpenAI's ChatGPT. Recently, I saw what Google is doing with Google Duet, and it looks very similar, but I think they have a huge advantage, and that advantage is the amount of people who, who actually use Google Docs and Google Workspace versus Microsoft uh, 360 platform. And not everyone can access Duet yet because it isn't quite available. And currently it's not free. Uh, Google Workspace has 68% share in the Office Suites category when Microsoft only has 20%. Why does this matter? Well, they will have an advantage once they get these tools out. Just because they have more people already using them. Google claims their workspace brings us together to connect, create, and collaborate. AI has been doing the backbone of work in their business for a while now, but today we're able to start collaborating with it. The videos are similar. You can ask it to catch you up and summarize an email conversation. Or write me a response to an email. Or take these groups of emails and write a brief and take that brief and create a slideshow presentation. Use generative AI to create images in that presentation and capture notes even from a Google Meets. You can even personalize messages going to clients in Google Sheets by just dragging down that column. It'll, it'll make it go directly to each one individually. Even send a thank you note from your mobile device to your entire team. Once again, all the companies are doing similar things, but which ones will gain traction? Honestly, I think all of them will, and, and we will all be the winners because we're just literally getting innovative things every single day presented to us. And they keep getting better and better and better. So as people innovate on top of each one of these, as those companies take other things in, because I know a lot of smaller companies are making these features, but then ultimately you have people like Google and Apple and Meta and Amazon, they're all developing these tools internally. So what are each one of them gonna be putting out? Which one is gonna focus on, say like, is Apple gonna just focus on the Vision Pro and that ecosystem? Is Google gonna just fight Microsoft on how uh, the AI chatbots are gonna integrate in all, to, all of their working documents? And how is Amazon? Amazon's a shopping platform and they make content. So what are they gonna use? How are you gonna be able to talk to Alexa, right? Or your Google Home or, or Apple Siri? Things are just going to change drastically. But again, we are just gonna get more to do and more ways to be creative and complete tasks. Uh, it will automate things, it will make easier, it will be creating more opportunities as well. So uh, please stay tuned. Every time new opportunities come, I wanna show them to you and find ways to integrate them into your creative workflows. Because especially when you start creating, you, uh, it's not just about the creations. It's about how do you do the daily work and the business side of those creations and how can you limit some of those workflows and, and really just make it easier to focus on really cool things that you wanna do with your life. Um, so please like, subscribe, and stay tuned as I keep bringing more of these tools and news and uh, creative energies your way.